The final bell has rung. The school is empty, except for those of us who can't leave. Welcome to Fairmont. Listeners, if there are indeed listeners, this is your host, Psyche, reporting that it is the dead of summer here in the school, and by that I mean that these are the defunct days of summer when only the dead linger. Not even a trace of a janitor remains to hide in an unused classroom or janitor's closet. Since I am alone, I will be sharing the stories that the school often chooses to hide. I have spent some time on the collection of these stories. Information has a cost, as I'm sure you know. And it's not the cost of a good cup of coffee or even the price tag on the ability to drink it. But that is not why we're here today, is it? Today is for... I never hated her, you know. It's just that time, well, relative to us anyways, it, it changes people. And spend enough time around a person and you're bound to see things in them that you didn't see in the casual acquaintance. I'd like to think that we understand each other, yeah, but I'd, I'd even like to think that we were, we were friends. It just doesn't seem like she can find it in her to respect me. Time was different then, I guess. Um, I guess she knows where to find me, though, when time changes again. Listeners, our wonderful zombie Lydia is here in the studio with me. It's nice to have a set of capable hands around to help out, you know? It was only recently that she was just starting to learn this stuff. It never ceases to impress me how quickly she picks it all up. It's all in the brains. And there you have it, listeners. It's all in the brains. Good afternoon, Fairmont. This is Jack Carmody here to tell you that today is already a boiling salamander. That is to say, it is a defunct day, as they say, and the summer heat is just roiling everything. You'd better hope that you're buried at least six feet down if you're going to survive this one. This is Conti. I mean, people like to think my whole unlife is dedicated to choir. It's not. Not really. I do have an existence outside of here, you know. Well, I don't know if I can talk about what happens outside of the school. I don't think anyone really can. But hey, I've got other classes and friends that matter to me. Okay, listeners, we have another monologue for you now from someone I'm sure we all know. This is Pond. Lydia? I know everyone's got secrets. I've been told a lot of them. Some of the things people hold on to. Grudges, guilt, you know, those sorts of things. Great space, some of those st things are stupid. Petty, maybe, is a better word. There was a story from a girl I haven't known for a long time about how she literally threw someone under the bus. It's silly, the little things people feel regret for. I'd like to introduce a special guest, listeners. Now in the studio, Lydia and I are joined by our friend and associate, Jack Carmody, whom you should all know from his enthusiastic narration of the weather. Welcome to the show, Carmody. It's not often you get to sit inside the station, is it? No, it's not. Thanks for inviting me in, Psych. You know, I could not have entered without your asking. Of course not. Would you be willing to talk about that today? What, my being a vampire? Of course. I don't particularly care who knows. Good for you. Some of us undead are a little, uh, shall we say, sensitive about their state of undeath. Now, I think the topmost question we have here is probably what drove you to report on the weather? People said I couldn't do it because I was a vampire, you know. It was something I was interested in before turning, and I had one too many people point out or joke about the sun being an issue. So I wanted to prove them all wrong. And I will prove them all wrong again by saying that the sun isn't actually that big of a problem for me. What, do you sparkle? No self-respecting vampire sparkles. Honey, our personalities shine like our eyes in the dark, but no self-respecting vampire sparkles. Especially not in the sun. Listeners, I'm afraid we're out of time to be connected through these waves. For now, at least, this has been Psyche. I wish you all the best, and of course, happy nightmares. Thank you to everyone who took time out of their summer to help me record this, and to everyone who took time out of their lives to listen to this little experiment. I now have possession of your time. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like I might actually exist. What is time, anyway? Why did you give some of yours to me? I'm sorry if you really wanted it. I'm afraid the investment's non-refundable.